Kwanzaa was a Hebrew name. We have Kwanzaa as letters, yeah. and then we have pictures that represent Kwanzaa. Each letter, or maybe two letters or three letters, will have a certain picture to depict what Kwanzaa means. Kwanzaa means hope. I don't know what the emblem of hope. Maybe the emblem of hope is this flower. My the first name will have this flower, and then the other one will have another flower. Then the people who cannot read, when they see those emblems or those pictures, pictographs, when they see them, they know that okay, it means hope. My name means hope. Yes. All right, that's how it was. So the name of Yahweh, Yod Hey Vahey, Yod Hey Vahey, um, it had this. It's very very powerful. Um, Yod, uh, each picture. Um, it was in the head of a person, like a head of a person doing a mighty deed, mighty deeds of God. That's Yod. Then he, it had, he has a picture of a man lifting up his head, literally like this. You can check it. You can even go on your Google Earth and check it. It's like this: a man lifting up his hands like this to heaven. And then again, he again. This is the very same he. It means to reveal. To behold and to look, yeah. all right. Yeah. And then va, it it has a picture of an iron rod, like a spike, an iron rod. So when you bring this together to get the meaning of this picture, because they are for one word, they must tell us what they mean. Yeah. So when you bring them together, yeah, they say, "Behold the man, behold the name." Behold from he, which is to look and to reveal. Behold the man, which man, the man that is raising up his hand. Amen. Again, behold, and we have two behold. Why I say two behold? Because it's he 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 that two is yours. He va he. So that was specific. If he, if at the last he was not there, you would say behold the man, the name. Because that makes sense. So God makes sure because it's not repetition. By mistake, God knew what He was doing. Lord, H for H, Amen. Is that H and H? So the the, the the other the last H is the one of behold the name. So behold the man, Ye, H the man, H the name. You get it? Lord, H for H. So behold the man, behold the name. This man is Jesus. Amen. This man is Jesus. Amen. So whenever the priest. They were in the temple. They say, "Yod Hey Vahey." They were saying, "Behold the man, behold the name." When they were praying for the children of Israel, they were saying, "Behold the man, behold the name." They were saying, "There's a man that is coming in the future." You can see all this Ark of Covenant. You can see all these furnishings. All of them they typify the man that is coming, and all these festivals that we are having, all this kind of sacrifices that we are having, all this kind of offering that we are having. They are saying, "Behold the man, behold the name, behold the man, behold the name. The man is coming." So this tells me that Yahweh, the greatest of the greatest, started to exalt the name of Jesus above every other name way before Jesus could even die. This is exaltation for your name to be invoked every day. Your name to be called out every day, every single day. Your name is called out, and ten times a year, every day. And then the people of Israel, when they are praying in their tent, they were using Adonai. It's still the same with Yahweh, but they were not using Yahweh, but Adonai. Still, the underlying meaning of that Lord or Yahweh, Lord in capital letter, it was saying, "Behold the man, behold the name." Everywhere in the children in the camp of Israel, there was a sound, Behold the man, behold the name. So this lifting up of the name of Jesus above every other name started a long time ago. And it was consummated after Jesus has died on the cross. When Jesus ascended on heaven, then the Lord gave him a name above every name, consummating what he started. And we said, it's a complete action and incomplete action. Perfect tense and imperfect tense. The perfect tense, I am I will be. I exist. I will exist. So he started by lifting up the name of Jesus, and it was incomplete. This lifting up was incomplete in the Old Testament. Yeah. Our what? Our incomplete action that we talked about yeah. was lifting up the name of Jesus. Then it was completed, consummated in the New Testament when he was inaugurated and given a name that is above every other name. Yeah. Praise 
some of you will be the assassins. Yeah. But somehow, somewhere, oh they don't come to your village, they don't come to your city, come to your suburb looking for you. Yes. They are flowing. Say, I need no tongue. Mm. Come on. That's the Lord. And he come out. Come and he called you out. I'm and he mentioned you into his name. Yes. And said, I need you to go to the nation. I've called you to the nation. To bear my name. Yes. To bear my name. My God. To the nation. All I need you to do. I don't need you to do many things. Just bear it on you. And walk to the nation. Yes. As you walk to the nation. My name will heal. Oh. Not your name. Yes. Not anything inside of you. Yes. Just go to the nation as a musician. Start to sing and record those songs. And just leave them. Bear my name. Yes. Don't bear any person's name. Yes. Just bear it here and walk to the nation. Yes. This name has all power to deliver. Yes. This name has all power to heal. Amen. This name has all power to deliver your family. Yes. Go out to the nations. Go out to the nations. Separate the name of the Lord. Separate it. Make it holy. Make the name of the Lord holy in your life. This name is holy. Separate it. Consecrate it. Make it holy. Don't shame the name of the Lord the way you walk. Don't shame the, way, the name of the Lord by the way you write on Facebook. The pictures you post on Facebook. Don't shame the name of the Lord. You are bearing the name of the Lord to the nations. Do not flag in your inboxes. You are bearing the name of the Lord to the nations. Yes. Oh, the 
law separated. Jehovah. 